What's going on guys, with Vardy 20 here, and welcome back. So we're going on to Eldora and the road course in this video. So, I think we're getting better. We're getting a little bit better. But it's very clear that there's not a lot we can do with the car we have at the moment. So, as soon as, po as, soon as possible, I definitely want to, you know, create our own team. I really hope that we have enough money at some point that we can do so. I know for sure that we have enough money that we can mess around next season, I guess, and do the dirt tour, if not... Uh, I don't know how much you need for a truck series team. I would imagine thirty-five thousand ain't gonna cut it. But then again, I didn't think, you know, I didn't think four thousand would cut it for a dirt team. But uh, anyways, I look at our reputation here. So, other than Baldy, we're looking pretty good. We have a friend. Davidson is kind with us. He's our teammate. Boswell, he's upset. We're we're working on that. Now we also had a contract thing pop up, and I'm not one hundred percent sure what I did. I'm gonna be one hundred percent honest with you. Um, so we have team contracts and a season contract. NASCAR Heat Three Motorsports. So, I'm not 100% sure what this means. I hope I didn't commit to uh, <laughs> signing with this team at the end of the season. But, um, yeah, I think this was an option. It gave me, like, three options. I accidentally picked this one, clicking on it, not knowing what it would do. So, um, yeah, that's TBD. We'll figure that out at some point. But look at the point standings. So, Ty Laguerre is your points leader. Hugh Ackerman and Michelle baker Dillon, Your top three with wins. So, they are in on the playoffs. Uh, we're last, obviously. Uh, we're seven points behind Scott Haig, a.k.a. Baldy Boy. Uh, we'll toggle the standings here, so he give you give you a look at the playoff standings. So we're 53 points out of it. Uh, yeah, it's a win and, in, and win and we're in for us. But obviously we're not going to win. The, the only problem with this, though, is it's like, and it, to be fair, it's realistic. The, the races are only so long. Fuel and tires are never an option. So we have to show up and be the fastest car to win unless there's some sort of glitch or something happens and we win. So... <laughs> so yeah we're not gonna win we're not gonna point our way in we're just gonna run the season as best as we can we're gonna evaluate our options and move on through our career but honestly i think we've done not bad for the car that we've been given it is obviously very slow it's a three-star team and we've outrun some people so i'm proud of it we haven't been the slowest guy at least the last two weeks so now we go on to eldora we completed our incentive contract which was an extra 550 dollars it was the easiest one so therefore it was the uh, the smallest payout, but uh, yeah, we got five races into the playoffs for the Extreme Dirt Tour. That's right, we got playoffs. <laughs> oh boy! Alrighty. Uh, oh man, that's. I didn't really think about it, but Eldor is a very high-speed track. You know what? We don't have a lot of speed. So, yeah, this race we might finish last. <laughs> we might. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. But yeah, the bottom's definitely gonna be the way to go around here. Oh man, it's. Uh, Oh, Lucy. Once again, we've, uh, oh yeah, we're about, we're pretty much revving out there at the end of the straightaway. Got a lot of, got a very really short second gear. Right there around the bottom, as close as we can get it. And try not to slide, coming out of the corner. It's going to be last, just about, I think. Oh, 22nd, okay. All right. Wow. Who was that who was four tenths off of me? That dude sucks. Who was that? Eli Lips, there's Eli Lipson. <laughs> Eli Lipson sucks. All right, well at least, at least we're not that slow. Jeez. Here we go with the Brant Professional Agriculture 100. Once again, this is our second run in this event. Uh, he's been struggling all weekend. Yeah, no kidding, dude. He sucked in qualifying. Elliot Henderson on the pole, and there we are. Of course, we're starting on the high side, so we're gonna lose all our spots going off in a turn. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's get it. I don't know. Like, we weren't bad at qualifying, you know, for what we usually are, so I'm thinking we might not be as bad in the race. I thought we would, but we might not be. I say the sky looks pretty cool. The frames aren't great, but the sky always looks pretty cool. That's one thing I think they really improved on is the, uh, oh, wow, thanks. Thanks for that, Glavka. Going to make him go on another ride like Bristol. All right. Well, what did I tell you? We lose all, lose all our spots pretty much. All right, Eli, just, just piss off for a minute. Let me let me get going. Let me get up to speed, and we'll be all right. All right, we'll, we'll be seeing you. So, I don't think we ever got a new incentive contract. I guess since it's still going on, we still have one one um, one race left on it. So, yeah, once we get kind of going in our own groove here, yeah, there we go. We start cutting that corner. I think I got it loose enough to just kind of cut through the center of the corner, which is definitely helping out with the speed there. That's the only way we can beat him, man, and that's great three. Since we don't have a lot of straightaway speed, is we gotta beat him through the center of the corner. There you go, look at that. Just drive underneath of him. 
No, we're just gonna have to slide up in front of him pretty much. Pull off some sliders. There you go. Okay, I'm I'm feeling way more confident now. I was really afraid since this is a pretty high speed track. We don't have a lot of it. I thought we were gonna be screwed, I'm not gonna lie, but all right, I definitely feel pretty good here. I think we can run top 20 here. That car is pretty good. Once again, you can see it turning pretty well without it getting out of shape. That's the thing, you gotta get it to turn, you gotta get it to slide, but you gotta make sure it doesn't lose momentum. It's all about momentum right here, since you don't have a lot of straightaway speed. Now, if we had straightaway speed, we wouldn't have to worry, really worry about it. Just be pedal to the metal balls of the walls, having a fun time and getting up on it. And not sucking, but yeah, man, every corner is important here. Keep the momentum up. Oh, look who we're catching. Boldy. He's already upset. Or mad or whatever. I think, well, what, regardless, he's two bars away from being a rival, so. Uh, we'll see. Uh, you know, I'll try to race him clean, but if he wants to race me like a dick, then, uh, yeah, we'll see. Oh, yeah, that's textbook right there. Easy. Right up there in front of him. Oh, no, don't pull down. There you go. Just give me, no, just, oh, wow. All right, give me a little tappy tap. Okay. I get it. You're upset. That's cool. But try to keep it out of my ass. Dude, look at us. We're on a career run right here. P19. 15 to go. I think we're catching these, these guys up here. That's crazy. And we're already going a lap down. Oh, my God. We've only done 12 laps, and we've already gone a lap down at Eldora. Dude, he's got to be like two seconds quicker a lap. That's incredible how slow we are compared to the leader. But it's not like we're running last. We're running P19. There's a good couple of guys behind me. That's crazy how big of a difference there is. Ten to go. Man, we might go a second lap down, honestly. I don't know. He's looked like Henderson would have gotten a lot of traffic, so. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get back around in time. Oh, man, I thought I was going to hit Brady there. <laughs> Guys. They just come right the hell through, dude. No, that's cool. Good man. Jeez, they're like, hey, I don't give a shit. Oh, well, this is fun. It's <laughs> kind of chilling by myself. It kind of feels like it's snugged up a little bit. It's not cutting as good through the center of the corner. We've got a second and a half on, on Scott back there. And we got like two and a half seconds of Casey Brooks up the road. So hard to go. Yeah, we're all right. We're gonna get a we're gonna get a night P19. That's gonna be career best, am I right? At Eldora, that's not bad. Yeah, we don't definitely don't have another two and a half seconds in it to, to catch uh, what's his face up there. So, uh, but yeah, can't be upset. Once again, we continue to improve. And we go on to the road course next. I've heard very bad stories from people who have run there already, so I can't wait to try and do that. <laughs> All right, coming around to the white flag here. Once again, we've got it about almost wide open, almost. You kind of half throttle there, beginning of the corner, but then you're right back on it. I'll bring it out to the wall. Oh God, yeah, go ahead. You're way quicker than I am. Who the hell is this, Boswell? All right, well, not a bad run. P19. Small improvements, man, small improvements. We're a three-star team, that's not bad. We're definitely getting more consistent. And we're, we're, we're getting better. We're figuring it out, slowly but surely. Man, I'd, I'd love to get a piece, uh, a skosh of what Elliot Henderson has. He just rolled by me like that. Like, like Kyle Busch <laughs> past Derek Cope. I mean, like, it's just incredible. Like I was standing still. Now look at the finishing results. Eli Lipson went two laps down. <laughs> he wasn't the only one, too. But Elliot Henderson, Hel blah, blah, blah. Henderson with the win. Yeah, so we went a lap down. Jeez, was there 11 on the lead lap? Jay Martin was in 22nd. First guy, two laps down. 12 people on the lead lap. That's crazy. That's crazy how quick they are. Well, hey, we closed the gap since we finished in front of Scott. <laughs> We're only five behind him now. And maybe that's our, that could be our season goal. Uh, finish better than Scott Haig in points. Oh, that, I knew that 19th place was at least worth three fans. Eight thousand dollars to almost nearly nine thousand. Hell yeah! All right. So that puts us up into forty-four thousand, and we should have a new incentive contract. Hey, yeah, attack on that five hundred bucks. Well, damn. Yeah, they made. Uh... Oh, this one's only yeah worth four hundred and forty dollars. What the hell is that? Should we? Should we risk it? Three top twenties. 
I don't think we can do that. I think we gotta play it safe and go two top 20s just to make sure we at least get some cash. All right, now we go on to the road course. I guess nobody's mad at me since no tweets popped up or anything, so that's good. I think there's gonna be some upset people after this road course race, though, I'll tell you that. I can't wait, man. I don't know how I feel about it. I have not done a single lap on this road course yet, so I'm probably gonna suck, but I'm gonna try my best. I feel like this might be my only chance of succeeding since it's, you know, different than all the other tracks for the most part. But, uh, yeah, I've heard some horror stories, so we'll see. Okay, well, I'm not confident about this whatsoever. But here we go. Yeah, I don't know how I feel. I don't know how I feel. I think we're going to be blast by a good bit. I'm going to be 100% honest with you, too. I don't know where the start-finish line is, so... I think we're coming to it. Um, somewhere up here? I'm not 100% I'm not sure. Um, yeah, another thing, I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to. I did a little bit of practice, but... <laughs> I I just folded like I was pretty confident I wasn't gonna get much quicker I don't know what I could really do to the car to get make it any quicker other than hit my marks and that really doesn't I don't think it's gonna do much either but yeah <laughs> oh boy this is something I don't, I don't know this is a fantasy series so I mean I don't really mind the road course but um, yeah we're attacking out a good bit there definitely we're going for that acceleration out of some of the tighter corners but the problem with this though is, is that it's very high, sp uh, very high speed road course for this kind of car. So, once again, what don't we have a lot of? Speed. What does this track require a lot of? Speed. So, yeah, unfortunately, I think this is going to be a pretty rough race for us. I'm assuming I hit the line, or maybe I haven't. Maybe I. This is my warm up lap. I wish they would have started me so I could didn't have to run this twice. Really? Oh yeah, there's the line. Okay, there you go. So at least we know where the line is now. All right. Uh, this this is fooling me. This little double corner thing here. I overdrove the second part like four times. There we go. We hit that pretty good. This I think bogged down. I probably could hit first right there. But um, yeah, other than that you get a lot of grass here and kind of cut the course there. And uh, I don't. Yeah, they haven't given me any penalties yet, so I think they feel bad for how slow I really am. So they're okay with me cutting the course. Up through here, man, about eating shit. Get that straightened out. For the asphalt part. We got like a little bit of a drag strip here for the straightaway, the back stretch, I guess we'll call this. <laughs> oh man, I think that sounded so good. Oh, we're skirching a little bit. A little line, we don't have any curves or anything, so it just goes from like mud to grass. So we're gonna be on the grass a lot. For sure. I don't know how many laps this race is, but I hope it's only like five. I just want to move on, man. I just, I'm telling you right now, this isn't going to go well. <laughs> it's not going to go well for me. Oh my god. And through the, through the shakun, or whatever you want to call that, that's not much of really anything. Especially when you're going as slow as I am. You can just pretty, pretty much hit that full speed. And here we go. Last. 119. That's. Alright, we're five seconds off. Alright. 106 was the one, the, okay, okay, 106, so we're, we're a lot of seconds off. So you mean to tell me I'm 13 seconds off on this shit? Yeah, I ran a 116, the, the, the I ran a 119, the leader ran a 106. Oh my god. That's horseshit. Oh my god. What the fuck? Um, All right, there we go. So, yeah. I, I don't care who it is, man. You can put any draw. I, I, like, I, I, don't, I don't care who it is. You're not making up 13 seconds. Not with this car. Maybe a couple. I didn't put a whole lot of practice and effort into it, basically just because I thought I would be this slow, which I am. But I'm like, I, it's like five seconds off the other back markers 13 seconds off the pace that's that's a little no that's that's too much that was that was one of the things i was really scared of was you know difficulty was a pretty big emphasis from what i understood this year and they wanted to make it harder well you made it harder but i think this is a bit unbalanced we can all admit this is unbalanced i don't i don't care who you are it's unbalanced i'm a three-star team i'm okay with being a second or two off I am not okay, however, with being 13 seconds off the pace. 13 whole seconds off the pace. 
And much, much of this track is just, like, long straightaways like this. Like, I'm holding it to the floor. I can't go any faster than what my car will let me right here. The gearing is a little goofy because I have it geared to try to get more acceleration out of the corners. Once again, we're so slow, but yeah, I, I think we can all agree here. This is a... Oh, no. Okay, we got a little loose right there. Yeah, I'm going to give up some time there. That was, that was a mistake, but that's not a 13-second mistake there. I'll tell you that. All right, well, we completed a lap, guys. That was a 121. So that was two seconds, about two seconds off when I ran a qualifying. So, yeah. Um, so I think I think it's safe to say that this is, yeah, we're going to finish last here. So, um, yeah, so I guess I'll uh, tell some stories now. Um, I don't really know what else to do. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a caution, but, man, really hanging that thing out. Yeah, it's just, it's just a little disappointing. I just, um, this is, see, this is just a wild card, really. Um, this is kind of why I'm, I'm excited to get out of this. Oh, Jesus. I just killed, I just flattened the left side there. and That one's going to hurt in the morning. Um, yeah. Uh, it just, it's, it's just kind of sucks because it just feels like the series is a little bit unbalanced. Uh, and, it, and it, like I said, it's a bit of a wild card. So, I, I don't know, you know, hopefully we'll get a patch here or there. Because, I mean, I, you know what? I'm, I'll be the first to tell you, man. I'm up for a challenge. If you haven't watched my NASCAR Thunder 04 series, it's quite clear. I'm up for a challenge. I'm up to try to, to tame anything. But, uh, I, once again, I don't care who you are or what you're about. You're not making up 13 seconds with this hunk of a car. It's a turd. It's just a hunk of turd. So, hopefully we see it. It's just a little bit of a patch. I'd like to see him tone it down just a little bit. Again, it, you shouldn't be... I feel like the ovals are pretty close... Um, it might be a little bit too strong for the leaders at some point, but honestly, the main issue I have with this is that you can't upgrade. You can't upgrade if you sign with another team, once again, from what I understand. Um, we have a long, a long while to go here in the career mode, um, but it definitely seems like if you get a chance, you got to go owner mode. That way you can upgrade, because we can't upgrade, and this is going back to NASCAR Heat 2. We couldn't upgrade in NASCAR Heat 2, and we were stuck. Luckily, the difficulty wasn't as bad as what it is. Or the career mode literally would be unplayable on, on the hardest difficulty, which, once again, shouldn't be the case. But I'm confident, man. The good thing is, it seems like, from what I understand, that uh, we're still going to see a lot of patches and stuff like that uh, throughout the, the game in the next couple of months. Not only patches addressing issues with the game, but patches like new, new features and stuff like that. Uh, it seemed like that they were still working on stuff uh, you know, all the way up until the release date and stuff that they couldn't get in the game. They, um, you know, they're, they're working on patches, um, you know, for future future patches in the game to get, get them in NASCAR E3, um, which is good. But, um, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I wouldn't mind being, uh, you know, just, you know, maybe we could just get under 10 seconds maybe. I don't, I don't want to be 13 seconds off. That was a pretty good lap, honestly, in qualifying. I ran like a 119 or whatever. What was the best lap? Oh, no, I ran a 118 in the race at some point. That's pretty good. So maybe that, that put me down, down about 12 seconds off, I guess. So I found about a second. I, I, mean, I figured I could probably find a second or two. I ain't finding 13 of them, some bitches, so I'll tell you that. So we're coming around to two laps to go here. Thankfully, it's only like a six lap race. I think I'm gonna go a lap down. I'm not 100% sure exactly where the leaders are at. How far am I behind? All right, I'm like 15 seconds off. Yeah, that seems about right. <laughs> For how fast everybody else is running. Now I'm interested to see how they're running it. I guess they just have more straightaway speed. I mean, that's that's pretty obvious, I guess. But once again, a lot of this track is comprised of high high straightaway uh, or long straightaways. So um, yeah. Oof. We, like, it's unreal how slow we are on the straightaways. And once again, it's 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 pretty obvious, especially in the, the dirt ovals, how slow we are really on the straightaways. I'm going to shoot this wall down. Oh! Oh, no. That's, we're going to have overtime now. Unless I can get it going. Oh, I didn't like... No, oh, well, yeah, there you go. That's, that was probably a good idea. Yeah, let's go do that thing where they wait to throw the caution to see if I get my stupid ass turned around. Oh, man. Yeah, let's go ahead and fix this thing and... Green white checkered, I guess. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, NASCAR overtime in a non-NASCAR sanctioned series. Let's get it. All right. Well, should I try to send it? Maybe finish in front of somebody? I really don't think I have the straightaway speed to even do that. 
Oh, Eli. Oh, there you go. I just shoved right up in the wall. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's it's fair. I, I'm not supposed to finish in front of anybody, so y'all go ahead, and I will see you guys post race. All right, yeah, best of luck to all of you. <laughs> I hope you guys finish where you guys need to. I was just a field field filler, pretty much. I feel like it. It kind of feels like they sent me on a show car. Like this is a show car for like a company or something, and they just smack logos on it, and they put like a, a like a John Deere mower engine in it. And they're like, oh, here, it, you know, we made it safe enough. You can go out there and enter it this week at Jefferson, whatever this place is called. That's basically what we did. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, our goal position is 20th. Oh, we're going to come up a little short of that. Yeah, I missed my turn in there. I'm probably going to hit this wall. Eh, not quite. Yeah, I can definitely be a little cleaner. I could be a little quicker. Once again, I'm not going to be I'm not gonna be fast enough. I'll guarantee you that. All right, well, white flag. We're in a 119. Let's... Let me try to get a clean lap here. Eli's not too far up the way. I mean, we can still see him, so that's... Yeah, that's that's pretty good. He's, uh... About three and a half seconds in front. So... Yeah, let's try not to overdrive it. Hit her turn in. Oh, man, this is wild. I definitely want to tame this, though. I want to come back in, like, a four- or five-star car and see how much more speed we have. Because I'd like to be faster, and I'd like to actually race... Uh, cause, oh, damn it. Oh, man. Well, that wasn't good. Hey, we can't look behind us. I haven't really got a chance to do it yet. It's kind of hard to do it on my wheel. I have to use a D-pad for it, but... There we go. I had to turn in there, finally. Damn it, man. <laughs> yeah, that, that little mistake cost us, like, two seconds. But, um... Okay, well, yeah. I don't know if you, if you guys have had any more success on this road course. You have to be on Legend Difficulty, though. Don't even respond if you're not on Legend Difficulty. Let me know how you guys did on Legend Difficulty in this. Props to you, though. If you are on Legend Difficulty and you're going through the crew mode, props to you. Give yourself a pat on the back. Because this is the challenge. I will give you that. All right. Damn it, man. <sighs> they just had to throw the road course in there, didn't they? Well, look at the finishing results. Anthony DeFazio. Good win. <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> All right, three thousand dollars to go out there and putt putt. Thirteen seconds off the pace. I really appreciate that. And we still sold our ten dollars worth of merch, so you know what? That's not a bad day. <laughs> Pack it up. Let's go home. All righty. So, uh, yeah, eh, four and a half thousand dollars. We got an, we got another. F Who the fuck? <laughs> Who is like? Somebody felt bad for me. That's what it was. It was like somebody's mom who came to the race, and they're like, "Oh, look at this guy. He was 13 seconds in qualifying. I'll root for. Him. I'll root for this guy. Maybe things will turn around on racing." <laughs> oh man, Anthony DeFazio, what a fucking dickhead. Keep up the good work. What a fucking asshole, dude. I just ran 13 seconds off to the pace of this guy, and this guy has the audacity. Keep up the good work. Fuck you. Brian McCabe, some mighty fine racing you did there. Fuck you, too. Dan Goodman, nice driving at Jefferson. Fuck you, too. Fuck each and every one of you.